Valentine's waiting on my boo thing at the airport. <laughs> Welcome back to Go Native. So as you might know, the majority of my relationship is spent across the country. And while some of my friends are going through the same love journey, some think us LDR folks are just plain cray. And I get it. I mean, two years ago, I never thought I'd be in one myself. But here we are, talking about the good, the bad, and the ugly of long-distance relationships. Yeah, about two years ago, it was... I think it went on for like four months, five months, and it failed. <laughs> I got exhausted after a while. Like, the idea of a relationship, you're supposed to see them, like, and be with them. It worked for a good while, and then you could just tell, like, we wanted to be there together. We didn't want to be on Skype all the time. It's just like, the feeling that you could be together and you aren't. There's nothing like being able to hug the person you love. It's gonna sound stupid, but being here has kind of made this relationship better in a weird way. I want her back home. I want my daughter back home. I don't want, I don't want her to, I don't want to miss out on more things than I already have. I mean, you feel distant when you don't know what to say to each other. All that type of stuff just made it really hard to stay intimate. You miss, like, rides in the car, or you miss small things that you take for granted. Stay away! <laughs> Distance was rough. <laughs> I am in Colorado Springs right now, my first duty station, and my wife is in San Antonio, Texas. Okay, um, I'm Alex. Um, I live in Chicago. My husband's name is Ben, and he is stationed in Bridgeport, California. Hi, my name is Amelia Mascaram, and I am in Chicago. My boyfriend is in Miami, Florida. Hi, I'm Lucy. I'm from England. I am studying Chicago for a semester. My boyfriend is all the way back in England. I remember it was a very bad day. It wasn't that emotional. It was very brief. It was just, you know, like he was going on a business trip and he'll be back. And I didn't really understand how long it would be until I saw him. I just stood there and cried and cried. And I think I cried for like five hours afterwards. I didn't like cry or anything. I cried more when I was getting on the plane because then that's when it was like, it actually like struck me. That you know, so we, she left on a very sour, very bad note. Um, and obviously it isn't the way you want to say goodbye. Hardest was after getting married and having to fly back from Reno to Chicago and I sat in the hotel room and I cried for probably four hours. Like it was probably like a longer hug than normal. I don't know, I don't know if it was like getting married and then it's like you have to be apart again but it was just so sad. <laughs> the saying goodbye part always sucks. Um, but does it get easier to live without him? Yeah, it does. It doesn't get any easier, like, ever, but you definitely, like, learn different ways to cope with it, and eventually you get back to, like, normal life. It definitely conjures up a lot of uh, trust issues. It brings upon a lot, of, a lot of stresses with trust and with what you're doing, what you're really doing, who you're really with, and petty bullshit sometimes, but I mean, that, that, that's what comes with it. So with the time distance and stuff, it's like a lot harder, so you just have to be a bit more patient and understanding. It just takes a lot out of you, especially like the time difference, so I feel myself like compromising sleep, or I just want to make sure that every moment that I have the chance to talk to him, I do. It's hard to always be physical, and then not and it's not about the sex it's about the physical intimacy it's the intimacy level that you achieve mentally that surpasses having deep conversation just a thought that i'm not going to see you for like another what nine weeks or so probably in the last year we've seen each other maybe 25 days in the past 365 days just, even if i could just see him for like a day and just like spend a day with him that i'd make me feel a lot better for I don't expect him to get like a thousand pound fly over here, like, just to see me. Even though 
not the big one you can't afford it. Do distance and you're just gonna want to kill yourself or something like that because distance is so hard, which is true, but it works out for the right person.